evening and welcome to another McMuscles Midnight Massacre, Chapter 2. Yeah. Um, do you want to howl at the moon or should I? You want to howl? You can yeah, go ahead. Howl? Let's, let's, I don't want to... You actually did it. I don't want to blow up the mic. Mm. We, had, we didn't do any uh, werewolf films last time. I don't We're going to make it up for it this year. With two. That's, that's a huge mm -hmm. amount. Uh, today's uh, movie review is Howl. Mm -hmm. Which I never heard of, and you. I found heard. it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, on yours because I don't even have Scott Amazon Prime. stuff, and I like, watch the trailer like I do, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, it seems pretty good. It seems you pretty do good. a lot of research on all the I films do. that we do, so. So I'm sorry if they're bad, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know I seen the guy. He was um, he was Jimmy from Downton Abbey. I don't know if you. I tried to tell you who he was. I'm like I, he was one of the butler. foppish butlery yeah. footman thing. The one that they also was like so handsome. But yeah, kind of. We hadn't seen. Him. He's just British. He's just British. This whole movie is super British. They're super British. Because that's how they talk in it. Yeah. Uh, and that's how everyone talks. This whole setup seems to be it's just people trying to get from, I guess, their work to wherever they live. Yeah, point A to point B. And, and they're all on this train. And surprise, werewolves! That's what it is. These bloody dogs! <laughs> I can't... Everyone talks about that. Uh, anyway. Um, he is... He doesn't have a very fun job. He doesn't have a fun time. He doesn't have a fun day. His name is Joe. Yeah. And it's very like, the movie. you know, he got rejected for a promotion and like the asshole he hates got it. And then the girl he likes just happens to all be on the... Wait, wait, he's a, he's a conductor, yeah? No, he's like the train... Ticket ripper. Ticket guy, yeah. 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 I'm like, it, it's very, I'm not supposed to be here because they're like, you have to, yeah. like, he's like, I finished my shift. And they're like, no, well, there's no one to go on this like red eye equivalent. So you got to do it. And he's like, but uh. I don't want to. And also you didn't get that promotion. And also that girl, you're like, she ain't gonna have sex with you. But like, so then he's I like, I did oh. not get the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he's super bummed out. He has to be on this like late train, and yeah. he's not happy about it. Like, it's, it's very like, I wasn't even supposed to be here today, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And um, uh, and the train sh the train breaks down. Yeah, uh, I think they kind of run something over. It's I I don't remember. Yeah. I think they run over like a, a caribou, not a caribou, whatever they have in England. It stops. And it stops. So because of werewolves. Essentially because of werewolves, and that's the film. That's the they, movie. All the survivors just have to kind of figure out survive. how to survive. Uh, they're stuck on the, the, the train. They try to leave and whatever. And, and, and Joe don't get no respect. He, they hit you over the head with yeah. how Joe get no respect. Yeah. Like, you're like, I see what you're doing. I'll allow it. But yeah. It was a lot. Uh, it, they hit you over the head. <laughs> the disrespect was real. It, it's it's really bad. It reminds me of like I'm not sure if you remember in Spider-Man Two, Tobey Maguire. They I all they those out. they they slam it home. My life sure sucks. Oh, oh shucks. Everyone hates me on the job and nothing's working out. Blah yeah. blah 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 blah. And it's really like this. It's pretty heavy handed and all. Well, that'll just lead me into what I I didn't like about yes. the film. Yes. The first thing you didn't like was. It's like everyone kind of sucks. Yeah. Like every single passenger on the train it was the worst. The only person that's kind of nice, and even then it doesn't really, you know, amount to much, is like his co worker that works on the train as well, like another. The girl. The girl. Um, girl he likes. She's nice, I guess. Yeah, she's and, nice. And she's about nice. It. She's supportive. She believes in him. Um, but everyone she else still want sex is like a. No, but. There's a, everyone else is like a cartoon character. Yeah, a how, caricature of how much of an asshole they are. What are you doing? Getting out of here. We're trapped on this fucking train, dude. What about you? Mind his choice. At least we have the guts to try. You should have gone with him. You should be helping him. Just get out of this fucking train. Yeah, there's like this In bitch. Specific there's way. this bitchy girl. There's this asshole guy. There's a nerd. There's a fat guy. He loves to eat. Oh my god, he's <laughs> where is he? When the, when there's like a girl. Oh, he's shitting because he ate so much because he fat. He's stuck in the toilet. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Then there's a he's, bitchy he's teenager. Loop. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's, yeah. There's, there's one or two. There's an old couple. Then there was the man, and he doesn't even have a name the whole movie. There was the subtitle. Fuck, what was Assertive it? man! Assertive man! Assertive man was by far the worst. He was the villain of the tale. No, it wasn't the werewolves. It was assertive man. I think he did have a name. It just it said no, it, it just gave saying no, no, man. Like it said it in the credits or something, maybe. Like, uh, how, how else would you write a script when you don't have a name? He's he just to assertive man. Assertive man, anyway. Um, Misogynist. So as I'm watching it, I'm just like, okay, everyone's kind of miserable yeah. and I'm not really into this. Now the problem is that, for me at least, I didn't care if anyone lived or died at that point. Yeah, chop them up, Wolfie. 
because I get the how it's like on a regular day commuting. People are generally yeah, maybe upset. like upset and they hate their life and everything's bad for them. And it's late but, at night. It's literally fine. But it's still cartoonishly over the top with how like everyone is just kind of mean, especially to poor Joe. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the first thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I'm like, eh, all these characters are kind of dicks, so <laughs> I, I don't really care. Um, aside from that, I think oh, there was a thing There was a on. specific thing that you hate, that again, oh, yeah, 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 this yeah. is only a Matt thing, and it, I mean, so, as a petty bitch, I don't mind someone getting irritated at something yeah, yeah, yeah. so petty, but go ahead. Uh, uh, people you... know this, I hate this, the royalty-free sound effect of pot smashing. It's in every single game, it's in lots of movies, I hate it. This movie did not have royalty-free pot, not a lot of pots to smash on, on the tube. I mean, this is subway, but whatever. Not a lot of uh, pasta smash on the train, but they have royalty-free sound effects for just about everything. Wind, opening up a rusty door, and normally it doesn't bother me those, but th these happen. They, these had like the all-star lineup of royalty-free sound effects, and it just bo bothered me that I, I've heard these sounds so much. And I'm just like, just record a new fucking sound. Well, okay, I'll, I'll give you the howl. Because if it's, the movie is called Howl, yeah, and yeah. it's about werewolves that howl, they have the maybe most get a fresh new howl. Yeah, yeah. Don't use, like, the royalty-free stock howl sound effect. Train door is a little bit more specific that, like, really, you notice that this is a stock I sound did. effect of I a train did. door. I mean, I believe you. I hated it. But, I mean, okay. Um, aside from that, there's a thing later on that happens that kind of, like, irked, I think, us both. But was there anything that you liked or dis disliked aside from that? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I just like the too much of the annoyingness of the people. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like that, I thought it was well, a well-paced movie because, like mm -hmm. anything, you're trapped in one place, so, like, they're in this train, right? What do they do? Do they explore? Do they come back? Like, so many things. Look that were, for like, items. They had obstacles. They really did. They're like, well... This train has stopped. We can't find the conductor early on. The conductor's just not. We're, we can't find them. We're right in the middle between stops, so it's long yeah, and to go far that way. Yeah, and anywhere. Long to go that way. So they have to, like, get items and repair this. And one guy just happens Hurts. to be a tech guy. He's yeah. like, you know, we need to connect this line and then push these things. And he knew how to run the train. That guy was, a, really that guy was a good guy, actually. He was, he, was, guy. he was pretty cool. He was, like, assertive man, I think, was, or someone was yelling at him, like, belittling him, but he was, like, yeah. a townie. And yeah, he's yeah, stupid, yeah. but he's like, meanwhile, ah, joke's on you, I'm like an engineer or whatever in his mind, or he was just really smart. I, yeah. And then he knew how to do stuff, but then, yeah, there was always a lot of, like, little excursions, and we're like, oh, let's leave, oh, no, let's come back, there's werewolves, because they, at first they don't know, obviously. At first they, the, the, they, the, the train is just what broken has happened, down. Yeah. You know, and then no one's listening to Joe, and then Joe has to assert himself via assertive man. Like, we, it, it's all being built up, and no one's listening to Joe, and they're all stepping all over him, but, like, when push comes to shove and they need him, he, like, steps up or whatever. I guess, but he's so, still, like, because it's his job, and he doesn't really care about anything. Uh, he doesn't want anyone to die, but... Yeah, I get it. He kept saying that, oh, I can't, I'll get, it. I'll get fired if I open this door like in the beginning <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. when you don't know it's werewolves but then and of course it's a bad it. move to open that door because yeah, exactly. that, uh, that, just, that just like rings a bell yeah. letting the werewolves know it's time to eat so I guess that'll lead into the thing the, the, the generally two things I, I kind of enjoyed mm -hmm. the werewolf makeup it's actual make like people in suits yeah it was good looked quite good it wasn't a bad CG monster and they show it quite a bit they, they don't show them for a little while but then yeah, they're, they're like yeah they're in the beginning but then they're like they're like fuck it look at these guys we made and you're like, yeah, it looks pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, there was a, a decent amount of gore, and I was, yeah. I remember going, whoa! Yeah, a couple of times, we're like, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like that. Which is always <laughs> satisfying when there's not a lot going on. Yeah. You're like, oh, please give me something. So there was that, and generally it was paced okay, where it was a lot like, um, uh, some other creature features where wait, we don't have a lot going on, so just before we get too bored of this, let's move on to the next thing and like the next like issue or little pivot point of like, oh, let's go outside. All right, that's not a bad idea. Let's go back inside. Let's try this. Let's try that. <laughs> we have to go outside again. It's yeah. basically inside outside. But... Uh, kind of. But yeah, yeah, like that was about it for what I liked. It, it was generally it was just kind of okay. It was okay. Yeah. It was okay. I'm not like the biggest fan of werewolf movies either. I don't really watch a lot of them. Either, I guess. It took the backseat of all the genres that like, you know, the upsurgence of it was like vampires. Yeah. And then it was like, when vampires went down and then there was the zombie rise. I'm like, we're still in the middle so, of the zombie arc. 
And werewolves just never really had a chance. Uh, there was a Jack Nicholson movie where he turns into a werewolf yeah, called yeah, Wolf. Yeah. I think it was Michelle it was Pfeiffer or yeah, like yeah. a woman. Then there was a Benicio Del Toro movie from a few years ago that's real bad. It's really gory, but it's real bad. And that's kind of... Oh, American remember. Werewolf in Paris. It's literally, literally, literally even older. Uh, then there's like you know Underworld and all that crap. But um, was 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 there the the, the last kind of thing I, I'd have to say is like since we're talking about werewolves, what are the rules of werewolves? Well, I thought one of them is that werewolves come out at night and well, with the full moon stay out at night. And then once and the, then the moon goes down, down, werewolves is over. Yeah, werewolves time is done. This movie is like nah, man. Some, just, I think it's because they weren't werewolves. So they were just like, uh, like wolf English pack. cryptids. Yeah, they were just wolves. Wolf it's men. called howl though. There's howl, wolfmen. They howl. never showed them transforming from humans, well, so maybe they are just monsters. Huh? I didn't think about that. But well, I don't know if this is spoilers. I don't. I don't, I don't know if this is spoilers. But the madame, there is a there is a transformation that happens. Is she does uh, like I remember that a like, random person gets things. a random person gets bit. Yes. And then the, they get feral at least. She doesn't yeah. Get fully transform. Did she? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Um. To be fair, but maybe they. they you I think they start off as human, yeah, and then they're permanently wolves, like forever. If you're really into werewolf lore, maybe this is sacrilege to you, maybe. but... If you're a werewolf purist. It was a little confusing to me, because the movie doesn't explain what they were, where they go. It just kind of has them, and that's it. But that's all it wants to do, so I guess you don't need an explanation. But it was a really kind of a simple thing overall, and if you don't like really mean people being mean to each other <laughs> in a train for about an hour and a half, <laughs> then maybe much. the movie's not for you, but... I I recommend it. It wasn't terrible. It was it was all right. If you have Amazon Prime, this is always what I go with, and uh, it's free, and you're like, what the hell? Let me just watch something because you gotta wade through a lot of shit. Yeah. Like on Prime, like same as other streaming services, but like, mm. it's decent yeah. for that. Would um, you recommend it then? In that specific case. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. To pay money for no, but then again, I don't want to pay money for anything. Right. <laughs> you know right, what right. I mean? Like movies. Not that I like advocate for piracy, but I'm just like, you know, if you have access to it on a service that you pay for, keep it legal. Then keep it cute. Then but, it's, then watch it. It's worth like a Sunday night when you're bored, I yeah. guess. So yeah, howl. Howl. Um, We'll see what next uh, werewolf movie we do next. I I really like the the other one. It was okay, it was way between dumber. two, but that one had its charm. Yeah, well we'll see that one later in the Muscles Midnight Massacre Chapter Two. Good night, everybody. Woo! Oh, Ow. there you go. <laughs>